The next thing I want to do is whenever I put in my nickname, I want to create some kind of welcome package to send to the client from the backend. So when I say, for instance, I want to join as last right here, I want the backend to now, when I join, send back an entire package of joyful things like all the messages available already, all the clients available, and even my own chat client so I know who I am on the backend. So we're going to make that for this lesson right here. Let's try and go to the backend first. And let's just try and figure out how we can make such a package available. Now we need to, of course, go on the backend to the place in our gateway right here called nickname, because that's where it's all going to start. Now, right now you'll notice all I'm emitting is to everybody that a new client just joined. We want to keep that, but we want to add one more thing so that we want to tell that client that when he joins, I'm going to send you a welcome package with everything you want, right? So let's go and actually say server, uh, sorry, client. We are going to emit something to you after you join, which is going to be a package of information. So let's just call the message. The event name is just going to be welcome. And then here we need to pass everything that we want to give to the front end. Now the front end, we're going to introduce you to something right here called DTOs, data transfer objects, because this object right here is actually going to be not a model. Actually, it's not going to be a domain model. It's going to be data that I want to transfer from the backend to the front end in a joint package. So we're going to make that beautiful little data transfer object now. And let's just call it the welcome data transfer object. I'm just going to make a new file right here. Welcome.dto.ts. And the welcome package that I'm going to create for now is going to be again an interface. So let's just export the interface right here. Interface. There we go. Welcome DTO. That's what we're going to call it. Now, what do I want in this DTO? I want a few things. I want the list of chat clients. So let's just say clients. And that's going to be a chat client array. Like this. There we go. Then I want the actual client who just actually just logged in right, who just added his nickname. I want him to be passed back. And the final thing I want is all the messages that are available at the current time, chat message array. So all of this, I want that inside this data transfer object that I can pass back to the user who just logged in. So of course, while I remember it, let's go and create the exact same thing in the front end, because you'll need to be able to read this interface. Going into the front end, going to add this new file and let's call it welcome dto.ts and paste in all that beautiful information. Let's just go over here and copy all of this, paste it in. There we go. Now the welcome DTO is available on the front end as well. Sweet. Back to the back end. We'll go into the gateway now and we'll say when you join and you add the client, right now the client isn't being returned. So I'm just going to do the same like we did with the messages. I'm going to instead say you're going to return the chat client right here like this. And when you push this client, we're just going to make him a local constant right here of the type chat client. And that's going to be equal to that chat client we're just building. We'll pass him in here and then we will return him. So we are going to add the client. And if we go back to the gateway, we can now, when we get that client right here, we can actually just save him locally. That's going to be the new chat client that was just generated. And now in this emit right here, we can actually go and create, let's actually make it as a constant first, make a constant, we'll say welcome package of the type welcome DTO. There we go, it's going to be equal to and then we're going to create it here. And I want it again to have the following things. It needs the clients list of all the clients we have. And that's going to be we're going to get that from the chat service. So we'll say this dot chat service dot clients. We also want all the messages that are available right now. And again, we can get that from this chat service, all messages, whoops, get all messages. Let's actually do that. And the same here, let's do the get all messages, get all clients. There we go. Let's just make a couple of new liners just to make it happy right here. New liner here as well. Now the final thing this object needs is the actual chat client that was just created. So that'll be the chat client. There we go. Now we have everything that we need inside our welcome package. And then we'll return that package 
in the mid event to only the client called welcome. Good. Now let's jump to the front end and start using this package right here. So I'll go to the front end code. We'll go into the service. We'll create a new listen, a listen from event. Listen for welcome. There we go. It's going to return the welcome DTO like this. And it's going to just return that guy. There we go. And then of course, it's going to be on the welcome instead of um, instead of the clients. So now we can listen for the welcome package. We just need to start doing it, right? So let's jump to the chat component. And let's just go all the way down when we send a nickname, we want to before we send the nickname, we want to start listening. So we'll say this dot chat service, listen for welcome package. There we go. This way, we can actually start subscribing and waiting for someone to send us this beautiful welcome package. And again, we have to remember to unsubscribe. So let's just add that pipe right there. And when we've made the unsubscribe available, we can just do the real subscription right here. And there we'll get back a welcome package, welcome, and we'll use that welcome package to set our messages. So we'll say this dot messages is going to be equal to the welcome package messages, right? The final thing I want to save right here is the actual chat client. So we'll save. I want to save the chat client that was just created. That's inside the welcome package client like this. Now I actually have the chat client who I am, right? So we'll make that chat client right there. And then what I'll actually do is I'll now get rid of the nickname. I don't need the nickname anymore. So let's just get rid of the nickname in here. Because I don't want to use that nickname now anymore. I want to wait for the server to tell me that a new chat client arrived. There we go. So with that out of the way, what I can do next is I can use this chat client now who by the way needs to be undefined. There we go. I can use this chat client now as the listener where before if you guys remember, I was waiting for the nickname to be set. If we go into our HTML code now, I now can listen if there's not a chat client. I know that right now I'm not connected. So that's why we're going down here if there's not a chat client. If there is a chat client, however, I will go up here and I'll actually start showing the messages just like we had earlier. Now with this available, I'm just going to add a small H5 right here and say, Hello. Now I can actually get rid of this get all messages right here, because that's only called once whenever the component is created. We don't need that anymore. Because now whenever we add a nickname, it's actually going to go and get a welcome package back. So we can use that messages directly when we get the welcome package back. Let's try and see if this actually help us out. Let's go and put in a nickname. I'm John, I'll say send. Hello, John. And let's put in the message. Hi, all like this, we'll do a send. Now it says hi, all. Let's try and go to the other one and say this is Bill again, Bill will send a message. Now notice right away, Bill gets all messages, not from listening, but from the welcome package. Okay. So again, you can use that welcome package to send any kind of data you feel is like the initial data, anybody who joins with a nickname needs. Now there's still a lot of things we haven't covered and we'll just keep diving into those things. But this is pretty neat. Now we can send welcome packages to whoever is kind of joining our server. That's it for this lesson. See you next time.